How to choke a black woman while you're having sex. All right. For those of you who've never done this before or tried it and failed, I'm gonna break down a few things. One, if you tried it and failed, it's because you A, didn't do it good enough. You didn't apply enough pressure. She didn't believe you. Two, you applied too much pressure. She believed you. <laughs> and she went from having sex mode to, you know, survival mode, you know, fight or flight. That's not the point of choking her during sex. Uh, now, for those of you who haven't tried this, this is not something that you just jump into. Even if she tells you to do it, she is looking for some type of thrill, some type of pressure calibration to stimulate her mentally and physically in order for her to, you know, get to that feeling and, you know, you know the rest. However, there's, there's trickery in this. There's trickery. And no two women are the same. Even if they take your hand and put it on their throat, you know, there is, uh, is he going to be man enough? Is he going to man up and take me by the throat and dig? You know, or is he going to be a little wimp? Because if you just go like this, she'll be like, wait, what? I'm sorry. I'm putting my clothes on. And you'll never see her again. It's not like you get a second strike at that. Mm -mm. There's not unless you already known her for a while. She'd be like, nah, do it like this. I suggest if you don't know her too well, and she invites that type of atmosphere, be very, very careful. This can turn into something bad real fast. It, it's just not advantageous for you to proceed. However, we all get caught up in the just be very careful because it can turn on you, you know, especially if you leave a mark. But the idea is for both of you to have an aggressive sexual encounter that just tees off the night like, oh my goodness, like, son, it was so good, like you. And she's like, she's talking to her mom. This is her talking to her mom. Son, it was so good, like mom. She, like she literally told her mom how good it was dealing with you because you manned up. She asked for it. You looked at her sideways and you snatched her up. You know what I'm saying? Threw your tongue down her throat. Had her in that perfect chokehold with just enough pressure. When you know her breathing wasn't interrupted, but she wasn't going nowhere. You're right here. That's the per that's when you got it. You're like, bam! Then you lay the lips on her and then you looking at her the whole time. Like, yeah! Like, I own this right now. You, you gotta give her that look like, mm, and just hit her with the good loving. But that takes practice. Some of you, some of you are just too weak for that. Because you love your girl. I had a situation where I had to tell this dude, I ain't even know him. We were all working together for like two days or something. Or that one day. No, we were working together for a couple days, a bunch of us. He was talking about his woman, you know, how much he loves his girl. You know? And he was trying to get the relationship to do more because he loves her. Like, he's not going anywhere. He's trying with her. 
See, this is, I'm not trying to tell you guys to just go out and start choking random women, even though they probably love it, and then some of them wouldn't, so you don't know. You don't know what you're getting, but the one that you know, the woman you love, like your woman, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might even had this talk before. She might even tried something, or she might have tried to choke you. But nonetheless, you know, and he asked me for advice because I'm an older guy, and I said, listen, next time you're with your girl, so when you go home, try it today. And y'all sitting on the couch just watching TV, just you and her, throw your tongue down her throat. Just don't give her the whole I love you and you're so, no, who cares about that? She already knows that. She knows you think she's beautiful and all that other flowery nonsense that goes out the door. She knows that. She doesn't need for you to keep repeating it all the time. She wants you to act. Do something about it. You love me? You think I'm beautiful? I'm attractive? Let's go. I'm here with you on the couch watching Netflix. Let's get to the other part, buddy. But just surprise her with it, like, just, yeah, just go right in. Right past first and second, third, boom, go right in. Just throw your tongue down her throat, mm, that's third base. And just give her just a magnetic kiss that she just, and then you move in. Oh, this is this a sweet part. This work is good. You, if she's on your right side, you already got her close, right? And you, you know, you got the shoulder, and you throwing the, you giving her the tongue. Then you put your hand gently on her neck, like right there, and you hold her head still while you kissing her. You gonna have to go out and spend twenty thousand dollars and get a ring after that. But I told him to go home and do this. Just throw your tongue down the throat. And he did. And then he knocked her boots, of course, because that's what happens naturally with two, you know, adults. You know, consenting adults. And I said, when you do this, I said, give it to her good. And then when you finish, sit back on the couch and act like nothing happened. She's going to stare at you as if you're like a whole nother person who just showed up from outer space. She's going to look at you like, what's that all about? And you just sit there and don't pay no mind. Still got your hand on it, but you know, you just, like nothing happened. He said, he called me. <laughs> he called me, he's so excited. Dude, I did what you said. Man, it was wonderful. <laughs> he said the next day, she got up. She started cooking. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> Do you want anything? Are you hungry? Are you okay? Do you want anything? You sure? Okay, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. And she was happy as a lark. It's an old expression. But the perfect. See, there's times when you use different pressures with the chokehold. You can't always go in and, God, ah, got you. And then Hulk Hogan, you know. You know there's different pressures during different times. You could be on a dance floor with your woman. And you can give her that nice little... Whisper something in her ear, like soon as we get out to the car. I don't care who's watching, I'm going <laughs> just, or, or just that look. You know, grab her by the shoulder. You ever dance with your woman and then have her by the shoulders and just looking at her like, 
hundreds of beautiful women around. You just looking at this woman like. And then stare her up and down, look at her everything. And you just imagining. You just imagining her imagining what you're imagining. And as soon as she understands that I'm about to get the D in a serious way, uh, there's nobody else in the universe who's going to break that connection between you and her. It's just a hurricane's coming. It doesn't matter. You two are bound for the bedroom. And that bedroom could be anywhere. Heck, it might be on the dance floor. I'm just trying to tell you. Perfect choke. I'm just saying, it's going to cost you some money. If you do it right. But you might want it to. You love her but you want to spice it up, you hit her with the perfect choke. You laying down and you over her looking down at her and she's looking at you like, you know, she's just speechless. She'll be cooking you breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the same time. The same time. She'll be coming home from work early She'll come home during lunch. I'm just trying to tell you what I know. Just to get some more of that feeling. Because it went from here all the way down to her feet and worked its way all the way back up and it's still in there. And she's at work like, she can barely type. She can't think right. Because you, you, it's, it's not like you hit her with the long D. It's, it's not about that. You, you got into her mind. You made her loneliness lonely. You vacated any suspicion that there wasn't another human being in her face that is going to give her every iota of attention possible at this moment. And it just turned her into a river. That's what the perfect joke do. She'll pay your bills even though you already paid them. I'm just tell me. that already well you know next month Come on, extra. she'll be looking for things to do for you listen even if it's a chick you just y'all just and I don't suggest just but it just happened she's coming back she might hang up her whole car Heck, you might hang up your whole car be like Joe I don't want to be a player no more. Learn how to give your girl a perfect choke. Even if you have to talk about it. There's nothing corny about that. You're trying to satisfy each other. That means you're in it for the long run. And that's what I highly suggest. You got yourself a good girl, man. Choke her. Choke her good. If she doesn't like it, find another way to choke. I'm saying find that thing that she likes and then hold on to it you know you get yourself a good black woman which is hard to find but have mercy if you do it wrong <sighs> have mercy it's your boy Tom Chill too